The Boy Who Became King, a LeBron James children's book. Less than a week after Christmas in 1984, a young woman named Gloria received the best gift she could ever imagine. A baby boy she named LeBron. LeBron was born in the city of Akron, Ohio. Gloria, her mother and even her grandmother all helped raise baby LeBron. They all lived together in a big house until both women passed away, leaving young Gloria and LeBron all on their own with no place to stay. It was hard for Gloria, moving from place to place, trying to work and take care of a young child without any help from LeBron's father, who left before he was born. Gloria did her best, but it only became more difficult as LeBron got older. They always had to move from place to place because they didn't have enough money. One time, they moved five times in three months. Oftentimes, Glor Gloria would leave for work and an eight-year-old LeBron was left at home by himself. LeBron missed a lot of school. He would wake up, watch TV, play video games, and even walk to the store on his own. He didn't want to go to school. He wasn't like the other eight and nine-year-olds, who didn't have to worry about where they were going to sleep each night. And when he did go to school, it wasn't easy for LeBron, because he was always so far behind. Sometimes he would get sad because other kids had so much and he had so little. They had nice clothes, two parents at home, and they did well in school. All LeBron had was his mom, and they were very, very poor. One day, when LeBron was outside playing with his friends, a friendly man approached him. Any of you guys like football? He asked. We love football, one of the kids answered. That's my favorite sport, added LeBron. Good, because I'm a football coach and am looking for players. First one to make it to the end of the parking lot is my running back. Go! All of the kids took off running as fast as they could. LeBron got a late start, but one by one he passed them all, winning the foot race by what seemed like a mile. The friendly coach found Gloria and asked if her LeBron could play on his team. Playing on a football team would make my Braun run so happy and I would love that, but there's no way I can afford it and I wouldn't be able to get into all the practices, Gloria stated. Don't worry about any of that. I will take care of everything and I'll pick him up every day, replied the coach. The very first time LeBron touched the ball, he ran 80 yards for a touchdown. He was a star. Gloria would get off work in the weekends to come and watch LeBron's games. She was his biggest fan and even became the team mom. LeBron's friendly coach was a man named Frankie Walker. Frankie and his wife Pam really liked LeBron and Gloria and always wanted to help out where they could. Mr. Walker also coached his son's fourth grade basketball team, the Summit Lake Hornets and signed LeBron up to play. LeBron immediately fell in love with basketball. He had a natural gift that others saw. Mr. Walker helped teach him the fundamentals of the game and then LeBron would practice what he learned. He practiced and practiced. He practiced more than anyone else. And when he practiced, he would dream of someday playing in the NBA. Gloria received some bad news. Her and LeBron were going to have to move again. Once Pam and Frankie Walker heard this, they offered to help by letting LeBron live with them until Gloria was able to save up enough money and find a place for them both to live. Gloria was very sad, but knew that she could come and see LeBron whenever she wanted. 
Like the walkers, LeBron had to wake up every morning at 6.30 to get ready for school. LeBron had to make his bed, keep his room clean and help out around the house. He also had to try hard in school and if he wanted to play basketball, he had to finish his homework first. When he was done doing everything he had to do, LeBron was able to do what he wanted to do, and that was play basketball. He would go outside and practice for hours, every day. LeBron didn't miss another day of school after that. He even found out that he liked going to school. His favorite classes were music, art and gym. After school one day, LeBron's mom stopped by to see him. She had some very exciting news. Thanks to the walkers' help, Gloria was able to save up enough money to get her and LeBron their own place. They may not have had many things or a lot of money, but LeBron and his mom had a lot of love. They loved each other very much. LeBron told his mom all about what he had been learning in school and also about his dream of playing in the NBA. Over the next few years, LeBron would play in hundreds of games and was gathering up many fans with his standout play on the court. But there was not a bigger fan of LeBron than his mom, Gloria. <clears throat> LeBron became a two-sport star, playing both football and basketball in high school. LeBron was fast, strong and could jump high. All things that made him an excellent receiver in football. He was one of the best receivers in the state of Ohio and many college teams offered him scholarships, including Notre Dame. But after his junior year, it was clear to anyone who ever saw LeBron play basketball that he would eventually play in the NBA. So he decided he wouldn't play football his last year of high school and risk getting injured. He had become a legend on the court and was twice named the best player in the entire country. People from all over would come to watch the kid from Akron, Akron play basketball. LeBron was such a gifted basketball player that filmmakers detailed his young life in a movie and he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, all while still in high school. It was in high school when LeBron was given the nickname King James. He was the king of every court he stepped foot on. Many began comparing him to basketball legend and his hero, Michael Jordan. LeBron led the fighting Irish to three Ohio State titles. After he graduated from high school, it was no surprise LeBron decided to go straight to the NBA. It was also no surprise that he was the number one pick in the entire NBA draft. The rest, as they say, is history. LeBron James has become one of the best, if not the best, basketball player that the world has ever seen. He is capable of dominating any game that he plays in, against any player playing all positions on the basketball court, from point guard to center. He has won NBA titles, MVPs and award after award. King James is already a legend, but there is one thing about LeBron that truly makes him a king, more so than anything he has ever done on the basketball court. He cares about others. LeBron has never forgotten how hard it was for his mom and him when he was growing up. He is constantly helping those who have no money, no place to stay and little help. The LeBron, LeBron James Family Foundation was started by LeBron and his mom. It has helped thousands of struggling single parents and their children stay in school by providing places to stay, food to eat and schools to go to. LeBron James' childhood dream came true and now he wants to help others to have their dreams come true too. Now that's what I call a king. <laughs>